Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time for regular just to the usual. Please like and comment and also share our videos so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, we have just received information that the ZRP is denied the triple C, the citizens coalition for change, the chance to hold a peaceful demonstration in Blawa, Yoko Blawa. Yes, of course, ladies and gentlemen, the Triple C announced that it is going to start a series of protests protesting against the recent recalls by the uh, by Jacob Mdenda. So now we have received a statement from the police saying that they are not going to allow the Triple C to demonstrate. I'll read through the letter so that you may find out the reasons why the police is saying Triple C cannot demonstrate. Reason number one This office acknowledges receipt of your notification to hold a peaceful demonstration to petition Minister of State, Blawai Province, dated 16th of October 2023. Please note that your notification does not comply with the mandatory provisions of the Maintenance of Peace and Order Act. Be, I, be guided accordingly. So, their own crime is that. They failed to comply with the MOPA Act that has been highly debatable. So, ladies and gentlemen, as of now, uh, the police is saying <clears throat> you can't have a demonstration in Blawai. So, this boggles the mind, ladies and gentlemen, to say, will we ever see protests in Zimbabwe? Because, come to think of it, everything that will be protested that will be proposed is to go through the same police which is denying the chance to do so. So probably a uh, triple C will never have, have a chance to uh, protest. Not only triple C but any right any Zimbabwean who thinks that they have to a, a right to protest they won't do so because they have to go through the same police through the Zimbabwe Republic police that has been highly regarded as being partisan in its administration of uh, of its work. So, ladies and gentlemen, as of now, no demonstrations uh, in Zimbabwe. I think this is why Nelson Chamisa chooses to go the biblical way, chooses to go the versus way, because come to think of it, he also knows that if he was being denied a chance to do only a rally, how much more will he be refused to do a demonstration, especially if he says that it's a demonstration. So, what should happen in Zimbabwe? I think those who want to protest must just take to the streets without seeking prior approval. Maybe that will work, but that is also against the constitution. So, it's a matter of either you are abiding with the constitution and you are staying home forever. Or you have to decide it to number one, breach the constitution, number two, take the streets, and you know the cause, you know the extent that you want to go with this fight for a better Zimbabwe. Honorable Madiva.